All right. Then let's meet up with Rise. Whew. Man, I'm really starting to ache here. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Thanks for being with me. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing! You know, you. I was wondering. It's about Mizo Chimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind of strange? Mizo Chimizu? Really? Was she? You didn't notice? Was it just me then? Well, what did you think was strange? I noticed something too. She became pretty emotional, didn't she? Yeah. Right when the topic of that idol Yuko came up. It's only a hunch right now, but my gut tells me there's something she's not telling us. But what? Well, I don't know yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Osada thing. You mean whether or not this Yuko-san is the culprit? Uh, I'd like to stay away from that possibility. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. And what with these messages, which read almost like suicide notes, it does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. Also, she was with Takura Productions, and Kanemine Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB. Huh? But... I don't think them singing her song is a valid point. That voice knew a lot of personal things about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to believe Yuko-san would know that much about them. Yeah, exactly! See? I knew Yuko-san wasn't the culprit! Huh. You've got a point there. Tomomin didn't know much about Yuko-san, and it seemed like Tomomin didn't either. Besides, Kanamin Kitchen hasn't been around for that long. When you think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. Crap. It looks like we're back at square one. If it's not her, then who the hell's the culprit? If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san like Tomoe-san suggested, then we can assume the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takura Productions, who knows Tomoe-chan and Tamami-chan very well, and also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then... We're out of luck! Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. Oh yeah, and they've got Naruto-kun with them! With the real detective and our leader together, there's no mystery we can't solve! <laughs> uh, why are you the one bragging? <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Something might have happened to the other group. Let's hurry. <laughs> 